first is, uh, right now the problem is we have a pretty strong uh, victim's rights laws in our Constitution, but it's not enforceable. We, it's clearly delineated that you can't appeal those rights anyplace, which means we've not been able to enforce it to ensure that victims get notified, proper notification when hearings are taking place or when a def if a defendant is getting let out of jail, those sort of basic things. So what we're trying to do is a constitutional amendment on the ballot that would allow those victim rights to be enforceable. Uh, it's not trying to change the balance of uh, what defendants are able to do in protection. It's just making sure that victims also have their rights enforceable. Uh, it needs, it's going to be a constitutional amendment. So this is really just the first step is getting it on the ballot and then really having the public vote on this. So I really just get to follow my esteemed colleague here, R Lou Lang, leader in the House, who got this bill already passed through the House. You guys are awesome to be here. It makes a huge difference. It's way overdue time that we really make sure that crime victims have the same due process rights that the defendants do. So we're very happy to be able to move this forward. Um, everything is looking good and on track. Your presence here and getting people on sign as co-sponsors. I've been hearing from many of my colleagues that they want to get on. So you're doing your work very, very well. Really, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you very much. For advocates, they can call their senators, um, let them know they should be supporting this. It passed the House 116 to 2, so I'm hoping we can do even better than that and get 59 to 0 in the Senate. Uh, but we, we need the advocates out there to really help us with that.